Hello everyone! Have you ever found yourself captivated by the titles when watching movie trailers or actual films? Today, I'm going to introduce a creative way to design movie titles. And if you're interested in a specific methods, let's explore them together. Open Video Prog Flagger Create a new project First, find this button, click it to change the default black background to green Once done, find the text icon on the toolbar and click it Then go to the inspector to edit the text Choose the desired font Next, adjust the text size, maximizing it. Click the color box to change the color and apply the adjustments. Scroll down to the text shadow area and remove its shadow. Now, find the camera icon above the preview window. Click it to create the current screenshot. Return to the main interface, use the same text but add a text shadow. Click the color box to modify the shadow color and make further adjustments. Once again, click the camera icon to create the second text image. Generate additional text images, such as changing the background color to red. Then, modify the text content, font style, color, and size. This way, we obtain styles with completely different feelings. Let's continue generating the desired text images using this method. After completion, import them along with the prepared video and the music into the software. Last, don't forget to restore the background color to the default black. This can complete the first segment. First off, drag the video to the video track and the music to the audio track. Adjust their durations to keep them aligned. Apply a fade out effect to the music. Next, Find this button, click it to add several overlay tracks. Drag the text image to the overlay track. Adjust the duration. And go to the inspector. In the chroma key section, click this color box. Use the eyedropper tool to select the green part in the image. Then check enabled. Adjust these two parameters. Find the motion icon and click it to enter the motion editor panel. Click add a keyframe on the first frame. Adjust the selection box to select a few letters. Move the playhead to the last frame. Click add a keyframe again. And move the selection box to the right to complete the motion. Back in the inspector, Slightly adjust the exposure to brighten it and add a fit in effect. Finally, click a show layout rectangle and adjust the properties in the transform section to stretch the text. Let's preview the effect. Let's continue by dragging the next text image onto an empty overlay track. 
Apply basic editing and remove the grid colors using a simple method. Click the color icon on the toolbar and adjust its color. Increase parameters like exposure, contrast, and saturation to add a depth and a contrast with a scrolling text. Click Apply to apply the adjustments. Similarly, click the Motion icon to enter the Motion Editor panel. Click Add a keyframe on the first frame. Adjust the selection box to make the text smaller. Generate a second keyframe for making the animation starting from this point. Move the playhead to the last frame. Click Add a keyframe. Adjust the selection box to make the text larger. Add a speed curve for this keyframe and click Apply to return to the main interface. Additionally, I'll drag this text image to an empty track for making similar animation effects. The different part is, this time, click the crop icon on the toolbar to crop the image. Quickly adjust the cropping box by dragging these points. Then, like what we already did, edit the motion effect. That's it. Currently, the upper half of the entire frame appears somewhat empty, so we need to fill it with additional content. Let's use these two text images. First, let's crop each image individually by selecting each one and entering the Crop Editor panel. Then, adjust their size and the position on the main interface to achieve the style we like. Once we have a balanced visual composition, let's enhance the cinematic feel by adding a cinematic opening to the video. Now, adjust the keyframe timings slightly according to the music rhythm. Click Apply to return to the main interface. With this, the entire production is complete. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. If you'd like to see more creative tutorials, be sure to follow us. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!